out of those. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're live. Okay, so welcome back to uh, the Open, I mean the Pro League of the British Touring Car Championships for their third race around here at Alton Park, race six of the championship. Uh, I'm your host, Woody Lizard, with uh, HUDS21 on board with me. How are you, HUDS? Good, mate. Good, mate. Welcome back, guys. Right, this final run. Yep. Yeah. Weary night. Absolutely killed oh. at that last race. Oh, and he's almost killing his teammate in the other P51 sim spot in the Mercedes. Like I don't know if that... Oh, there you go. They're um, having a little bit yeah. of... Uh, uh, yeah. Give that to the pit garage, they say. Well, we just did the <laughs> practice, guys. So um, a little bit too brusque motor as cars. As the uh, second Sim Sport car comes through now, which is probably the leader, Commander Cirrus, um, he won't be happy to see all that. So uh, anyway, oh, oh, oh there's still um, still hasn't ended there. No, but, um, so just running a little bit loose. But how how it's happened so far tonight? We've had. Um, Dado win race one, and uh, then Darky win, run win race two, and basically those positions swap between the first. So we had Dado and Darky in the first race, and then Darky and Dado in the second. Big movement, big mover in race star uh, two. Huds was uh, Maddie Seeking, yep. who came from last on the grid to finish on the podium, take yep. the final podium spot, with his teammate Weary Knight in fourth. Um, Darky's teammate Jeddo. Uh, hasn't had a very good uh, round around here at uh, Alton Park, unfortunately. He's had a six and a fifth. Uh, so he starts fifth here for race three, and it'll be interesting to see if he can actually give a little bit of cheek uh, to those two P50 Sim Sport Opals in front of him. So, uh, But he's also got a logical sports in the Mercedes um, next to him as well. So... A uh, lot to see there on that third grid between Jeddo and Illogical, I reckon, off the grid, off the start line. That was uh, Matty speaking, and he's... that was where he and I had a bit of a bingle there. I think Matty might have had a bit of a sticky throttle, maybe. Yeah, well, that's what he'll say to the <coughs> pit crew, uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. this team. But here we go. This is where it gets serious now. So the final round of... Uh, or the final race of the uh, second round of the British Touring Car Championship. Um... Just one thing to note, I think you may have the lap record, do you, that we've had around there? Dado's, Dado's time? The, yeah, which is back a, in 2019. A 124.877. Yeah, so that's that was actually done, I believe, Hudson, race three. Yeah. Was again, uh, back in 2019. So here he is on uh, the inside of the front row. Um wonder if he can manage that 24 but i'd know for a fact in race three back in 2019 i think he started from about grid position eighth so he had a big open restrict his restrictor wasn't that closed up so he had a bit of pace to burn yep so at the moment no one has got uh, we've got close to a 24.888 by jetto in practice i think it was but here we go back to 10 cars lines. off we go and it looks Slide like um, crack and start back there so it's Matt, he's on the outside of Dado as he made up in the second spot around the first corner of Old Hall oh. and he's found the grass way out there. And he come on nice. Just missed out with, with Weir Easy. Actually, Matty's now always had come into contact there with one of the, um, with Jeddo, I think it was. Oh. And we have slide on his roof. It has not been a night for the New Zealander tonight. Or I should say the South African, but he's over in New Zealand. And Matty oh. hasn't had much better. Oh, and Dado, Dado birthday boy. And it's all happened here, race three. On the opening lap, we've had three cars, four cars, I think, off the track huts. Unbelievable start to this uh, final race. B51 to Pold again. Maybe having four cars on track is probably a problem for the P51 cars. But anyway, right at the moment, Jeddo has got Dark Lord right on his bumper. Coming up into uh, Druids. Very tricky corner. Up over the rise. Nice big run now into down into Lodge Weary Knight is just taking shreds out of Dark 
Gaki here. Can we see an oval take victory? It's been a while. It's been a Renault McGann championship at the moment. It'd be great to see an oval come up on on top here, by three at Alton Park. Start of the I think we might have lost Dark Lord. No, he's I know still Dark Lord's still here. It might be Matty Seeking. Yeah, it is. I think Matty Seeking has uh, found himself back in pit lane. Weary not. We'll have to keep an eye on this battle here. There's still a little bit going on too down further down the field, but this here for the lead. I think Weary's got the grip between his teeth here. Oh, he got Easy strong on the brakes of Kizzy Chicane. Can he catch up to Dark Racing Ford in the Aimichi car? Aimichi, yeah. Similar pattern for the, with the uh, first two breaking away, five seconds to Jeddo. For the first two yeah, races, that is. Yeah. Yeah, history around here, around Alton Park has always been fairly spaced out, but there's been some battles in between yep. this uh, weary night. His tyres are just starting to get up to temperature, I reckon, up to pressure. Darky may have uh, had a few, uh, may take a couple more laps to get his tyres up, but it looks like uh, weary. He's got that extra pace early on at the moment. Quickest lap so far, 25.256. going to be entertaining to see the next eight laps around here to finish off tonight. Deep oh. on the brakes. Can he get it turned in? He Just did. missed it a little bit. Still gets a good run. You get a good run out of the corner still. You can see off to the right there some of the other cars turning in down into um, Cascades. Beautiful layout circuit. It's a really driver's track around here. That's beautiful on board. I had my heart pumping around there on the on board of the Open Sim Sports car with Weary Knight. Thank you for that, Hudge. No problem. Coming in hard down here to the uh, lodge corner, down the hill. They caught the deer leap up over the top to take the. Uh, Start of a new lap. Jetto having a good run behind him, the Imichi racing team. Darkies just just stabilise that gap to a second. Sirius and Knight have it at it again. Yeah, and we've just heard back from what the problem was with Matty seeking. He had a blown engine. Yeah. Uh, got his nose chopped off. Now he do um, that first first opening lap. Unfortunate for that guy, for, for those guys. But at least he can cheer on his teammate Weary Knight at the moment in second, trying to chase down Dark Racing Forty. He's had had the uh, the rubber the right way of this race at the moment. He he got it nice and clear off the start. Dado not so though. Now they got caught up, bogged down the start. Matty actually had a brilliant start, but then he actually got himself way out wide out of um, Old Hall Corner in the first corner, which may have ended the, uh, might have started a little bit of the uh, mayhem that followed. Won't know until we see a replay of that opening lap, but I don't think we'll see that for a while. Is it this action here up front with Weary Knight? Chasing down the man that's been uh, at the front most of this series so far in Dark Racing 40. Dark will be relishing this as well, having a nice good battle. You can see the lake there in the, on the left on the background coming I mean, up the shot. That's why they call that lakeside runner down through there. These two boys love a challenge, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
this. Jeddah's just done a 24,925. So he's the quickest man on the track at the moment. Yes, and what did we say at the opening start of this race to the fastest lap around here we saw back in 2019 was a 124.877, yep. so he's getting close to breaking the lap record, the official lap record around here. And don't, don't forget these cars have actually got running air restrictors at the moment. The only car at the moment that's actually fully opened up is Commander Series in fifth position in that uh, Mercedes. Um, Darkest car just wandering a little bit. Front wheel drive cars, they let the wheels just move around a little bit. Beautiful car control, Darky. Yeah. And they just want to just go back to the uh, standard camera view. There we go. So you can see the, the front working hard on brakes. Car control by Weary, he had it all crossed, oh, he didn't have it all crossed up, but geez, he had those brakes asking a little bit more of the brakes than what should have been asked, I reckon. Nice early turn in, getting a good run out of um, the chicane there. This is where you can really try and um, set up your, 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 the car in front get a good run through here, drill it, and then try and duck down the inside before you get into Lodge. We've seen a couple of passes already through here. Spaced out again. Yeah, there's a little bit there with Commander Cirrus and um, Nice. Just sort of That's stretched out. It? It's about eight tenths. Yeah. So they didn't give um, Dado the birthday boy uh, no. all smooth sailing there in this final one. He got caught up with Mist How and where he ended up being. He was actually, as I said, he bombed the start. Got in the mucks of, I think he got into turn one from second to fourth, and the next thing you know, he popped out near the amp, near the bottom of the field. Not really wanted to slide again, having another troubled race. Yeah, slide unfortunately. Got tangled up as well. I think he had two offs in the last race, and he's already had one in this one. So he won't be happy uh, yeah. with his performance or whatever has happened. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he had more. He loves than those day, cones. He's just taking the last two out. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Sometimes these South Africans, mate, they don't mind that little bit. Those few cones every now and then. Yeah. But anyway, he's lost a bonnet as well in all that. So um, weary night. He's closed up yeah. between. He's half a second. He's just pulled it back. You're right. He's got the bit between the teeth here. Yeah, I think he's just so, so, so sizing him up. Sizing him up. He is. Really, yeah, I, I, I absolutely. Really think, you know, just seeing where Darky's a little bit quicker, where he's quicker. He's actually done a 29-1. Yeah. I don't know if that's right in the last lap. That can't be right. No, I wouldn't believe that at all. Project Cars is just throwing a little bit of a uh, fib there. Ghetto's still the quickest guy on the track with a 25-0-5-9. Yeah, some so solid pace there. there. Those look at the timing. Twenty-four nine two five. There he comes. Uh, Weary. Can he? Can he put any more pressure on Darky coming up into Druids just to try and unsettle him? Darky just gets his turn in wrong. You'll find that. Uh, where he can duck down the inside, that's all it takes, but uh, Darky's nerves are still at the moment. 
But geez, he's close now. It's the closest he's ever been, I think, through here now. Will he have a look down into uh, the first corner at Old Ball Corner? I think he's a little bit too far away there at the moment, Huds. Yeah, you're right. He's just sussing him out. That's the start and the countdown though, with 9 of 11. Why all that's been going on? Jetto's put it back in 4 seconds. Oh, he's going to have a time penalty there. Maybe he may have to just... I don't think it's worthwhile lifting off. He's just better off to try and go for glory, I reckon. Yeah. Two seconds. Yeah, there it is. Two seconds has come up. Now he's got to be careful he doesn't get uh, any more. He's, he's trying to let that off. off. He shouldn't have worried. He's already been pretty much been given penalized. that two seconds. Yep, a bit late, buddy. Yeah. That's going to that's give Jetto the chance to close within two seconds now. Yeah, so this could be C&I Mitchie cars being one, two. So that's not a very pleasant sight, actually, when you think about they're both itchy. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. They are Renaults, and we've got the Opal Astra there in second, right in the middle of them at the moment. Headlights blaring. And a little bit of the uh, the spark has gone out of the battle there after where he got that two-second penalty, mm. just running a bit too wide. Jetto um, out of Cascades. Jetto did a 24-9 last lap, so he's still on it. Have a look at BBC Racing's uh, Dark Lord. Doing a good job there in fourth. He's is. racked up some good points this this uh, certainly has yeah this, this round. He's been really strong. Yeah, he had a um, a third in the first one. Unfortunately, he finished seventh, I think, in the last one. So he's gone from seventh to uh, fourth in this. But he's got some time he penalties, but so is Cirrus behind him. Did he finish third in the first race, or was it fourth? Third. third, no, yeah. third, sorry, yeah, yeah, if I said, yeah, yeah. third, was on the podium. But uh, Commander Cirrus there, still in fifth position in that Mercedes, he's trying to hunt him down, see if he can get that late last position. He's only got one more lap to try and do it though. Is at the moment, Jetto who looks like he's going to well and truly get that um, second position based on time penalties if he can keep it clean. Yeah. Weary Knight has a two second penalty and at the moment the difference is only about a second between the two. Five Actually, seconds. He's now been given a five second penalty so that's huge. So he may fall. How far is Dark Lord back? Oh, he's too far back. Oh, yeah, he'll be, he'll be right. He'll be finished third on the podium at Jetto. Going hard, he wants to finish if he can on track in second. By Michi racing one and two. Yeah, good fight back by Jetto. He's been in the walls all night. Had to claw himself back to get a decent result each race. Finally, things have gone his way this, this race here. He started in fifth. Looks like he's going to come home second on penalties. He's the man he's of the, the night. Uh, yeah, absolutely blitzed it tonight. Two race wins in a second. Yep. Can't fault Dark Racing 40 tonight. Just super quick. Comes up over. Super consistent. Yeah. Knows how to deal with the Two pressure. Two more corners to go. He's had some pressure thrown his way as well when he's done well. Keeps his nerve. Always keeps his nerve. <coughs> Early Flash of the lights as well to the, all the flag marshals in the crowd. Appreciative of all, the, all their support. Here he comes. Beautiful victory there. It's good to see the Amochi team come all, all, all about this round. They want to be caught on Mitchy. I Mitchy one and two. There's a cream for that. One and two. There you go. There he goes. <laughs> There's oh. a cream. And uh, it's definitely not the P51 oh. Oh, look at this battle here for coming up to the line. Dark Lord looks like he's just going to hold off Mike. Commander Cirrus. Yes, he has. What a run to the flag that was. And Knight have it coming home with a nice solid fifth position in the uh, second of the Opals. Dado got it up to six. Beautiful job. With the 
with the retirements. Um, I think that right. Oh, there's been a late retirement as well. Yeah. By the looks of things there. We're, was it Weary Knight left early? It was too. But he actually did finish He did finish third, third. so I don't know why he's been... He just finished before the car blew up. So there you go. Seen the um, Imichi racing cars, one, two, and then we should actually have seen the um, P51 Simsport Opal car in, in third position. Three, yeah. I think then Dark Lord will be fourth, Commander Sirius in fifth, Night Havoc sixth, Illogical Sports in seventh in that uh, second of the Mercedes. Dado Racer had a hell of a round, uh, probably one that he would like to forget at the end of the night there in uh, eighth with Slide Science in ninth in the Apex Eaters again, finding a lot of grass throughout the night. So, well, what a round. There We've you had go. A, a lot of cars out on the grass there, um... Um, Hud. Huds. Yep. I think that the uh, pros uh, pros would probably like to look back at that and sort of think, well, you know, they, they could have done a little bit better uh, keeping it on the black stuff um, with a better result. Um, it paid, uh, obviously, to stay on the track, as you can see what happened with uh, the top three there. And uh, unfortunately, mistakes has cost a lot of t drivers a lot of positions here tonight. Dado will be licking his, you know, he'll be licking his wounds now. He, he finished, uh, what, one and two in the first and then had that incident in the third. And, yeah. Yeah. Not the birthday present that he would have wanted, but... It'll finish on, but anyway, he could still come on home. At least he's happy with a, with a first. That would be helpful in his championship hunt um, in that Monsters, uh, Monster uh, Energy drinking car. And, um, anyway, uh, next week, we going to oh, be shit. at, uh, at uh, the Snedden uh, 300. And uh, obviously we're going to be back here for the Open Division on the Saturday the 17th and then the Pro League again on the 18th on the Sunday. Eight laps around the Snedden 300 layout. Um, that there, if you look back at our YouTube channel, you'll see some classic racing from last time that we ran there in 2019. So if you look at it on YouTube, Oz and Z Combined Racing League, you'll find all some all this uh, coverage of different uh, races we've done throughout the years. Um, also, shots lately um, on our Instagram page at ANZCRL. Uh, Facebook also, uh, ANZCRL. And uh, you can uh, request to join and answer those three questions. We ask three questions. Make sure you answer those three questions to get uh, accepted into the, uh, the group if you don't answer them. Uh, you will not get into the group. Uh, but if you just want to have a little browse, see what we're all about, head over on the website, aus-nzcrl.weebly.com and you can find there all our archive series, uh, trophy room, uh, what's coming up throughout 2021 this year, some special events, next one being the Indy 500. Yep. Um, sh should be very interesting, that one, Hud. May the 15th. Um, that one you could have that correct yep. i'm not 100 percent sure but it is in may yep. and um and then the next one after that will be the big le mans 24 hours which at everyone loves yep. to be involved in Absolutely. so um that's the big one that we're all looking forward to so anyway huds thanks again no problem you've been terrific uh great on the camera work i had my heart beating on top of the roof there for a while there with um with weary night chasing down darky and um I've been your host, Woody Lizard. We're Oz NZ Combined Racing League for all your Xbox, uh, Australian, New Zealand sim racers out there. Come and join us. Have a look. Uh, we, we, we welcome you with open arms and um, definitely a good bunch of guys to be part of uh, some good sim racing on a Saturday, Sunday evening. And good fun. Until next week, definitely hearts. Until next week, we'll see you then. See you guys. Bye.